It is St. Patrick's Day, but there can be bad luck. Even though 50% of Americans don't believe in bad luck or superstitions, many still attribute opportunities and accomplishments to having good luck. Turns out there is some science to what exactly luck is. From horseshoes to four-leaf clovers to a penny face up on the sidewalk, everybody has their own idea of a good luck charm. I have a multi-purpose tool that I keep in my wallet. I have a keychain with the number three on it. Yeah, my wife. But is it possible to forge your own luck? Experts say to have a chance, you need to take a chance. If you want to win a game where the odds are very low, you still have to participate to win. If you want to win the lottery, no amount of wishing for it will help you, you have to buy a ticket. Well, let's put it this way. I've played the lottery and I've never won, so maybe it is luck and I just don't have the luck to win the lottery. The science of luck tends to be less about pure chance and more about preparation meeting opportunity. Our brains are actually more involved with luck than we think. Experts say that unexpected lucky actions tend to come from our subconscious, a phenomenon called preemptive perception. So whether you call it luck, intuition, or just a good guess, if it feels right, do it. It feels right that I'm going to, because of my preemptive perception, win $193 million in the Mega Million today. Am I fooling myself? If you're trying to guess what someone's thinking, your guess might not be as lucky as you think. Experts say our brains naturally mirror people we are trying to empathize with, making it easier to predict their intentions.